All right, so what's it like to get caught in the rain when you have your doors off? Uh, pretty much like this. It's coming down a little bit. I don't know if you can hear. Big gray cloud. I felt like it would happen, but way better than having the top down. Top down, you'll be looking for a bridge. To get shelter. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me. I'm on Summerlin and uh, heading southbound. I, uh, you'll get wet. It's not coming down too much yet. With the doors off, it's kind of fun, but you will eventually seek shelter. Um, you wouldn't want to be like 20 minutes out from work when this happens. By the way, some things on my mind, because I'm always thinking, uh, you know, living right, thinking right, getting your mind, controlling your thoughts. God's going to do what God's going to do. You don't have to worry like, ah, oh, I messed up too many times. I, uh, I slack off. I, uh, I'm too distracted by uh, the things of this world. Like, I'm not going to get my goals accomplished or whatever, uh, you know. I'm not good enough for Jesus to use. If he was using perfect people, he wouldn't use me and he wouldn't use anyone. So... Yeah, it's coming down a little bit, but not nearly as bad as it looks out east. Oh, I'm getting it. It's coming in. Yeah, these cars are kind of laughing at me. As they should. Or maybe they, I think deep down, they want a Jeep. God's going to do what he's going to do. His overarching will. He said, I have free will. You have limited free will, my friend. God's going to do what he's going to do. You don't have to worry about that. Now the road's getting a little... You don't want to go too fast in a Wrangler when the road's a little puddly. In my Acadia, it's four-wheel drive and it just, it's real... It's built for that. This isn't really built for the pavement. Um, but yeah... It should be a breath of fresh air that you have limited free will because God's going to, his overarching will will be accomplished even if you, uh, you know, you're a slacker or something. I mean, a lot of people are. Um, this shirt gives me manders. I need to wear a second layer. But uh, <laughs> when I sit like this, you just, like, I, and I like how I look with my shirt off, but I look here and I'm like, eh, it's not a good angle. It's like when you're seated and like, if someone takes a picture of you at like the beach but you're seated and that little jelly roll folds up looks bigger than it is on your little love handle you should have I think if you're a guy especially you're out of your 20s you should have a little bit of a love handle otherwise you just you have a weird metabolism or you don't enjoy food and if you don't enjoy food I don't understand you what are you living for just sex same thing, in and out, up and down. Food is delicious. There's many different types. Um, all right, Xterra, anytime. Anytime you're ready. And trying to merge in Fort Myers. The way these people drive. They're 90 years old. I think the average age on the road is 89. I could be wrong. I know I'm right. Um... At least that's how they drive. Ooh, we got some Watts hair. I like how these guys that cut lawns think they can just park their F-250s just across the street on a blind turn and think nothing's a problem. I'm driving down Oak Alley in beautiful Heritage Farms. And, uh, yeah, you can hear just a little bit of thunder. Rumble, rumble. 
I love it though because it's actually cool. When it doesn't rain, it's 95 degrees in June. And it's starting to get more humid too, like the July, August weather. Let's face it, September, you ain't much better. And October, you've been slacking. You only feel like October on Halloween and the rest is hot and humid. We know what you're up to. October, you've been phoning it in for years. November, you're good. November's probably the best weather in Florida because you end that constant barrage of hot humidity. You get that cool fall breeziness, you know, college football's in the air. Christmas is coming up. There's that anticipation. Uh, it's about to get chillier. But, um, yeah, just thank God, not only that you exist, and that we forget about him a lot, but thank God that he's gonna accomplish his will, whether you slack off or not. Now, it means focus on him, but he's the one that strengthens you. That's the good news. You don't have to depend on your abilities. He's beyond that. Uh, he's beyond what your IQ is or your SAT score.